Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on PLUS TV Africa. And coming up next is a veteran who has made such a great impact in the industry. And we're so honored to have him here today with us. He is a producer and film director gifted to this world on the 26th of May. And hails from Oshun State, where I'm from. You know, only that's how star do. Mm -hmm. He attended secondary school in Lagos State before he proceeded to the University of Ibadan, where he obtained a bachelor degree in arts degree in theater arts in 2000. He directed the first ever episode of the award award-winning Nigerian soap opera produced by Wali Adunoga. This is Super Story. Yeah, he has featured in many blockbusters such as Shongo and a host of others. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's rise up for the he renowned actor mother. and... Can we get up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. And Lani, yo! Welcome, sir. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You I'm sure my mom is like sitting in front of the screen so. right wow. now because you're yeah, a Nollywood <laughs> crush, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome we, to the stage. If I'm yes. going to expose um, our previous um, uncle that just left the show, she couldn't yeah. actually come into the studio. She was just nervous, like, oh my gosh, I'm a big fan. I need to call my mom. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And that's the impact that you've made on, you know, the entire industry and Nigerians at large, to be honest. Thank but you. we wanted to have a chat with you before we even dive into interviews yeah, and you and all of that so you know we talk on this table a lot yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we just finished um kind of analyzing the whole ned Rumoko, um saga and his his thoughts on you know getting married and in the space in which he does it he really does it for three he meets someone in three weeks they marry and it has doesn't to be believe three in weeks dating, courtship yeah he doesn't believe in dating mm. and he's he can do it again he's already and what do you think four. about nigerian men being able to take as many wives as they want mm. what do you think about that too? oh well it all depends on your heart Mm. How large is your heart? Do you have enough space mm. to keep love? Because what is love itself? Feelings. How you feel. Right. If you don't have any feelings towards anybody, you may claim you love that person, but it's all lies, infatuation. You just mm. want to sleep with that person, and the moment mm. you're finished, you're done, it goes. You understand? Mm. So now, keeping, keeping women in the house depends on... Uh, how it depends on who are you and how you can take care of them. Mm. You understand? Yeah, my, my culture says you can marry, you can marry, you can marry 30, you mm. can marry 40. But then, how strong are you? Mm. Mm. There's no way you can marry more than four, more than one, two, three wives, and you say you're going to take care of them equally. No, mm. it's not possible. You must, yes, you must have your favorite, and that's the owner of the heart. Hmm. Mm. The other people, the other ones are just yeah, left and out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are just left and out there, you know. Mm. They are, uh, anytime you need another one, you want just probably you need it, a change. You just go to room two. Hmm. But do you think <laughs> it reduces um, the um, attributes of cheating amongst men, you know, when you're able to take cater for enough women? Like you said, when you need another one, you go, you to, go to room, room two, two yeah. instead of going to house seven mm -hmm. that you don't even know. The, uh, the person in house one doesn't know about house seven, yeah, but yeah. you go there. Do you think that's a better option for a man to do than for him to be, have house seven, house 13, and instead of room two? No, the, 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 the first question is, why can't you keep one woman? Mm -hmm. Mm. Thank you, sir. What is so important in that other woman mm -hmm. that you do, that you, your wife, mm -hmm. your number one, mm -hmm. does not have? Mm. So keep one woman. Mm -hmm. It okay. keeps you away from diseases. It mm -hmm. keeps you away from trouble. It keeps you away from police. It takes, it takes, mm. keeps Preach. you away from so many Diabolical dangerous things. Hey, hey, you know that kind Preach, of thing. sir. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? No. But then if you are not a, a, a one-woman man, mm. then keep two. Go to room two instead of room seven that you don't know who mm. is there. Mm. Yeah. But right. sir, I want to know, I mean, you've, you've both said it confidently even, that Nigerian culture, you're allowed to marry more than one wife. Why have we not ever seen the, um, the, the reverse where a woman is allowed to marry more than one husband? Like, what is the issue? Why can Nigerian culture embody that? Yeah, I think my culture does not allow that. And uh, it has been like that. That's what we came to the world mm. to meet, so I'm sure it's going to be like that forever. And uh, I don't see any woman coming out proudly saying, mm. uh, I'm, I'm, I am marrying mm. seven men. Mm -hmm. I am not, I have married, mm -hmm. I am married mm -hmm. presently at one time, at a time, <laughs> seven, no, no, it's not done. Yeah. Uh, that 
thing. The, you know, women, women have pride. You won't come out to say that openly mm. because of that woman issue mm. that you know. Wahala. <laughs> 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 so true. All right, sir. So um, let's 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 get back to our focus, yes. which is definitely the focus you. Of the focus. And um, we're glad you're here with us today. So I'm the controversial guy. I look for dirt on my guest. I think I all, search... all the fellow ones that I know, they are always like that. She's also a fellow of, by the ah way. <laughs> I think it's the men. The men of the affairs oh, are the trouble. I think all the affairs the are... All the fellow ones that oh. I know. Oh, wow. Well. Mm. Now that the... I know you are a fellow one. Plus one. <laughs> plus one. <laughs> so I searched plus one on plus and there TV. was no controversy surrounding your name whatsoever. You know, nothing like Antalani or tweeted something funny or wrote something online. You know, I searched Instagram. I was like, okay, what can I even... There's nothing. How have you managed to do that in this time and age, especially with your fame? You, you're very famous. I grew up watching you. Mm. So how have you managed to comport and keep yourself and keep your name clean? Discipline. Mm. Staying away from alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. You stay away from trouble. Mm. Yeah. Mm. If you don't go where you're not needed, mm. you don't uh, uh, partake in a discussion that you're not invited mm. to, you, you keep away from things that will put you into trouble. So you keep clean slate. But that's, that must be hard in the industry because obviously there's talent which is unarguable but there's also the showbiz part of it yeah. um and i cannot see how di a, a very disciplined person would thrive in the showbiz business because it, you just we just know what I, we know the culture and all of that so has have you i don't want to say lost because mm -hmm. it's all about personal values yeah. but what have you compromised keeping such rare um, virtue in the showbiz business no, I, I think uh, the way I do my thing is this: if you and I do, uh, if you and I are not that close, uh -huh, I, I limit my discussion with you. I mm. give a gap. Like if I want to discuss with fellow and I'm sitting here, I will be free mm. because I know he's my person. If mm. I want to discuss with you, I'll be free because I know you're my person and mm. yeah, kind of. But then. Another FAO Lua will come and I will say, no, I, let me just mm. keep to myself. Mm -hmm. I will not overstep my bounds because I don't know how he can take my jokes. Mm. I, uh, he may not have the kind of heart you have. Uh, right. So I keep myself to myself. Mm. So I will not overstep my bounds. So I, there will, there's no way I'm going to offend that person. Yeah. Uh, I know him for him, what he is, for who he is. Mm. So. You work All right, with that. So, um, okay, go on. Um, <laughs> being obviously in the spirit of Thursday, we're going to do a throwback really quickly. With okay. your, even your introduction, you were, you know, directing Super, Super Story. Story. Yeah, sure. we, we all day, watch. If you, if you'd not watch Super Story, I don't think you're allowed to be watching the show because yeah, I'm easy your age, <laughs> <laughs> like a baby. It's a family show. You're allowed. Don't worry. You can <laughs> but, go on YouTube. It's still there. <laughs> um, but you know, there is a massive difference between. A content like Super Story and what is shown now. I don't even think we have anything that resembles that. Like Super Story mm. was extremely More like, um, um, tales by moonlight. Yes, See, you know, and yeah. very traditional in setting. Mm -hmm. And I think it did a really good job, especially for someone who doesn't actually like Nigerian culture like that. I think it did a good job with with expressing and really promoting the beauty of our culture yeah. and what we stand for and all of that. Mm -hmm. You being there in that period <laughs> really. Um, you know, interacting with that space and also now today. Yeah. What, what, what's your thoughts on that? Have we lost anything? Have we gained anything? Do you like where we're heading? Are you okay with that? Or do we go back to Super Story days? Are we doing enough for representing our culture? Mm. Ah, culture, no. Mm. Yeah, we, we're losing it. We're losing the fact that um, we are running away from our tradition. Instead of we promoting it, it's like we're running away. I don't know why we're doing that. We're too English. Mm. We're too American. Mm. We want to funkify everything that mm. we're doing. In fact... Shadi is sure now shade. <laughs> <laughs> if it's now I feel. You know? <laughs> so I, we, we, we really need to go back to the basics and mm. try to um, uh, promote our culture and so that we don't lose it. 
In those days, when we were in primary school, you pay for speaking Yoruba language. Mm. You pay. But now people are saying, allow our children to speak our language. Yeah, we want, to, we want our children to speak good English, good French mm -hmm. and all that. But at the same time, we should not forget our, own, yeah. our, our culture, our language, mm -hmm. our things. Because if we lose it, we lose it. So what's your take on the recent Nigerian movies? Um, do you think we're doing, of course, and when we're talking about in terms of cinematography, technology has obviously mm -hmm. evolved compared yeah. to when we had Super Story. The cameras we used back then are not the same thing yeah. we use now. So cinematography may be 100. But in terms of storytelling, in terms of the narrative, do you think um, the producers, the directors are doing a great job? We're not really doing a good job. We're not doing, we're not, we're not doing something good enough. The problem we have is we have mediocre all over the place. Mm. Yeah, if we make sure that if you make a film, you allow it to be screened, censors boards make sure that okay the film is good enough mm -hmm. to be shown, mm. then we'll be arresting situation from that from 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 that angle. Otherwise, the way the way things are now, you just make film and put it on YouTube or not, whether it's good or not, people watch and uh, it's your subscribers, people who watch mm. it that you that will tell you mm -mm, you're not making mm. a good film. But Maybe. then it's not good for our growth. Mm. 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 Okay. It's not good for our growth. Okay, but I mean, I've, we've heard what you've said and all that. Do you think that the industry, now the acting industry has a receptive culture to correction? Because we still have a lot of brilliant minds like you mm -hmm. and all of your colleagues, especially in that era, that are still working and breathing and roaming around us. And there's so much that we could obviously learn. Still doing great things. Yes. Well. Uh, I mean, we've seen you even recently and stuff. So, but do you think that we, we have that type of space where you can go in and really educate us or school us better to, well, with all the values that you obviously embody? Yeah, I, I think. Uh what, what, we, what we should do in this direction is, if anybody is coming into the industry, he should be first schooled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He should make sure that he is schooled. You don't just come in and say, I know how to act. Mm. Uh, because I've been acting in the church. Mm. So you well, think you the church better. one is like the one we do outside professionally. No. Mm. But if you, if you get good education and... Uh, you're schooled in that direction in the arts. There's no, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that you you do better. Then you take the corrections, and we we make sure that those who are not doing well, you, you send them back to school right. or go to any academy, theater academy, where you can be tutored and all that. Right. Still, mm. still on the I same think. subject matter. She Technically, just... we're good. We're, mm. we're doing we're doing great. Yeah. yeah. All right, so still on this subject matter, she mentioned that because you went to Big Brother, we've seen a lot of internet celebrities and um, social media celebrities from Instagram, you know, being casted into movies. I was um, at a friend's birthday party, NCDC, we were just five. <laughs> I was at the friend's birthday party yesterday. And this argument was brought up about um, Citation. I don't know if you've seen the movie. Yeah, I've not seen it. Okay, movie, so I've um, heard about it. All right, so um, we're talking about Timmy Otedola's acting and um, the fact that she was a lead character in mm -hmm. that movie. And a lot of people say, oh, she was only cast there because um, she's from a very affluent family. She is there, she's that. Her acting wasn't so great that they could have used somebody else as a lead character and all of that. So off the back of this, I want to get your take on people that just cast anybody because it's a marketing strategy. You know, social media, they have the followers, they have the numbers, and then you cast them and you put them in movies. Yeah, it's not really, it's not really a good thing if you just cast anybody because... Probably uh, because of market. Mm. No, you cast because that person is a professional and he or she can deliver. Mm. Yeah, I can I can cast anybody from anywhere. Probably uh, Dangote's son. Mm. Mm. For as long as he can deliver, mm. I will cast him. Yeah. Yeah. That the, the lady being uh, female to the last daughter does not matter for as long as she can deliver. Mm. I've not seen the film, mm. but if she has done well, there's nothing wrong in that. Mm. Mm. All we need is come and exhibit your talent. Can you deliver? Can you do mm. it for as long as you can do it? It's okay. So, I have a chance of being casted in your next movie. If 
You are good. I can deliver. Uh, what do you tell me Deli to act any role now? I will do it now. Now let me let me do my first audition here. First audition. Yes, sir. First audition. Yes, sir. Slap her. Eh? Is that? I feel <laughs> 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 your face. Eh? The show will just finish. <laughs> Okay. The show we just finished. Uh, I, know. Uh, <laughs> I know. We've done. We see. We gave you a very good scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so in um, 2020, right now, in yeah. this heat of moment, there's a young person who wants to act like, you know, 17, 16, saying that this is what I want to do. Would you actually, and the parent is, you know, a bit um, hesitant. Mm -hmm. Would you advise that kind of person or that kind of family that, yeah, support your son. This is an industry that is worth going into in this country, in this climate, or... Would you tell them that um, I've been in this game and uh, let's just go go sing or <laughs> go no, to the no, bank no, no. or something? For, for first, the first thing is why are they hesitating? Why are they saying don't go and don't do it? Mm. Uh, if they have their good reasons, probably the uh, the child has one or two things mm. attitude wise mm. in the house. Maybe that's why they don't want that kind of that child to come out there and come into the arts because mm. the art itself if you cannot control yourself mm. Mm, you may go the other way mm. right. yeah yeah all right so i i so know they may have their reasons but if there's no reason if they know that this child is talented mm. there's no point stopping that child right all right so um there's no interview with you without finding out what's new what you will be expecting from you what project are you working on what which one do you plan to work on you know just spill the tea no, I, I, I just finished directing uh, nice. cinema stuff. Okay. We call it The Confident. Mm. Nice. It's not my job, but I, I directed it. So, mm. right. so I like the progression. Obviously, now you're beginning to handle more of the, I guess, the overall look than just being an actor. And mm -hmm. you've done that for a while, but I feel mm -hmm. like that's something that you're coming into. Would you ever leave the end, the acting scene? I mean, you're still there, you're still yes, directing. Yes, yes. But would you would we ever hear on a blog one day that you are now you now have a restaurant <laughs> or that you're now making fashion or something? Like do you think or you maybe ever the leave question that should industry? be what other businesses do you do apart from mm -hmm. acting? That's not my question. My question, no, my question is will you leave question. the industry <laughs> and go somewhere else? Don't speak a for me. Any, <laughs> anything, anything I'm gonna do will still mm. uh, Go in Paris, pursue with acting. Mm -hmm. Probably have an academy. Okay. That's that's my main thing. I want to have an yeah. academy where I mentor so many people. Mm -hmm. I want to mentor people. Right? Mm. That's my main focus. First student. Mm. I want to. I want to. I want to like uh, <laughs> at old age mm. and people still come to say, I want to learn. Mm. Then the old man will just say, You do this, you do that, <laughs> and he or she takes something away. Mm. All right, yeah, we need to go on a quick break and um, we will be right back. Stay with us in tea time. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, we still have the legendary Antalani with us in the studio. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm enjoying, enjoying your myself. You did? <laughs> yeah. oh, great. It's great. Awesome. It's like this show should you, you just continue. <laughs> we still have some time, but we still have another guest, so we're going to have to let you go. <laughs> okay, show. okay, no problem. All right, so um, finally, um, yeah. what should we be looking up to? You, so you spoke about your academy and mm. what you would like to do. You would yeah. like to mentor a lot of, no, not yes. to let you lose your train of thoughts on that. Can you just proceed with that about mentoring. Do you have you know? a plan? And when is, is it starting? When is it starting? Can we go on a roll? Because there are a lot of people that will be interested in it. Is it going to be costly? You. Is it for the elite of every Nigerian? No, it's for it's for everybody. I I, I just want to have uh, I want to I want to make sure that okay the 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 project is on. We have, we have uh, the site. Mm. So that we don't go rent places, you know, all yeah. over the place. That will that will that will be costlier. Yeah. We get a place that is yours, so that when when you say pay this little, people will not mind because when it's when the money is B, when you tell people to pay uh, big money, you know, you are kind of you may not be encouraging them. Yeah. But when you make it so easy for people, anybody can just come in. Mm. Uh, even from if even from uh, just get your school set. And you think you want to come into acting, you come into it. Probably mm -hmm. you, are in, you are in any other institution and you feel that, yes, I want to learn about acting, directing, and mm -hmm. all the, the rest of them. During your holidays, you can come and right. do something. You just know that, okay, you're busy. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if we have, do we still have more time? Um, like two minutes? Okay, two I just minutes. wanted to f get your insights on being a, obviously a famous person, an actor, and that interacting with your personal life, like your family and all that. Has that been a bit tricky? Like, do you find it difficult to have that privacy with your family? Are there any children who are looking at following your steps? Like, I just want to get a quick touch on your, yeah, on yeah. what's happening there. Yeah, yeah I, I, have, I have three aunties. Mm. Okay. Yeah. The aunt are the actor, mm. aunt are the father in the house, mm. aunt are the, f the guy you call celeb. Mm. Uh -huh. So once uh, you see me as a celeb, I behave like one. <laughs> in the house, I'm that gentle person, the father with his two children playing mm. like three children. Mm. You understand? That's the way. If you, if you can just separate the three. Right. You survive all right. it. All right. Before okay. I let you go, yes, maybe this is where we'll find controversy on you. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I see uh, you looking. What, 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 what is your take on this narrative that um, women in Nollywood are doing way better than the men in Nollywood? You know, the pay gap disparity, mm -hmm. the fact that they feel they're earning more, the fact that um, a lot of people think that they are more opportune than men and they get mm, more I opportunities. Know. What's your take on that? Mm. No, they... they... My, my, my belief is that we, uh, we men give women things. So if... Okay. We okay. men okay. give okay. We, Are we you sure men. you're not considering music? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sing too. Okay. Oh, really? okay, okay so musical. you sign us off the show then. I, I sing. Okay. All right, let's like do that. If, 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 if Feo Lua here mm -hmm. is my kind of... Uh, you know, uh, crush. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah. I just see her. That the end you're in. <laughs> no, no, she be, she be, you know, you don't understand. And I see her on the screen. Ah, t uh, f uh, TV Plus. Okay, mm. Plus TV. TV. Oh my, yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Mm. Then I can call you, give me her number. Mm. Yeah. Then when, when I talk to her, she give me her details. Mm. And bam, she hears a lot. Gang. So, so me that get number, what happens to my what, bank? Who are account? you? What <laughs> I want to do with man? <laughs> oh my goodness. You understand? So, yeah. they, if you if you say they they earn more mm. from that angle, yeah, you know, people mm. just admire people. Right. It's not all these women that I go a while. I'm mm. telling you because yeah. I I have a few of them mm. as uh, my Clemanque. People who they, they look up to me, so so I know I mm. know how they get their money. It's mm. not that they they sleep around. Yeah, or, you know I know what people think. Yeah, see that's why I'm talking like that. Yes, it's sir. not all of I them. I appreciate the. I couldn't still find the dirt, but um, that's how we have to let you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and spilling tea and drinking tea with us. Thank you so much. It's, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Tea time continues right after this break. Don't go nowhere.